Hello everyone to a different type of video. In today's video I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to make a server in Artronos like my Minecraft SMP. So first you want to create an account. Once you create an account, click the blue create button. And then you choose which version of Minecraft you want, what you want the IP to be, what you want the logo to look like, and what the, what the description you want it to be. This is how you change the colors of the text. You just do this and it changes the color you can come here and change it halfway through if you want to it's up to you create the blue button again and then if you want to host a minecraft smp like me with bedrock and java you want to go to software vanilla click on the green change button go to paper slash uh, book kit for plugins and then the newest release 1.20.6 and click install then, after this, you want to come over to Options. Now, you can change anything in here. PvP, whitelist. You can do anything you want in here. Nothing really needs to happen in here. Head to the plugins and type in uh, Geyser. Uh, G-E-Y-S-E-R. The very first one, Geyser MC. Install with this green download button. Alright, once that's done, go to Files, Plugins, and then Geyser Spigot, and click on it. And then go to config.yml. And now you're in here. Now, the port is this. 19132. Now, if you come over here, you could start the... Before we start, so this is the IP... You need to click on the connect. So that's not the IP. This is. So this is the IP. 47458. It's different for you guys when you click connect underneath the IP address in the server. Head back to where we just were in the files. Plugins. Server spigot. Config.yml. And then on row 19, change the file number port to the port that you copied. Uh, from the server port and then head back to server start the server and you do need to sometimes watch an advertisement for it to work there we go click on the X and start it up sometimes it automatically starts sometimes you have to press it twice and boom this should be everything you need to do I don't fully know correctly that's why I'm opening up minecraft on bedrock and java got minecraft let's copy the IP Open up, add new server. Alright, scroll down to the bottom. We cannot connect because we have to wait for it to start. And it usually takes, like, for a brand new server and an existing server, probably like a minute minimum. Could take longer. Alright, so it's on. We got Java. Let's refresh. Connect to server. Okay, so I'm on the server right now. Expect some lags. This is Artnos. All right, so I'm on, and I'm right now. I'm waiting for uh, one of my Bedrock players on my SMP to come join me. See, and that's a Bedrock user. Bedrock users will have a period, a period in front of their name, and Java won't have a period in front of your name. Now you know it works. And so you, they, we can see their skin. I don't know if they can see our skin. But yeah, that's how you get an SMP or server with Bedrock and Java. Alright, so that's how uh, you create a server in Artenos with Bedrock and Java players being able to play. Now, I can do more tutorials in Artenos because I've been using this for years. And I just found out some new stuff about Artenos. Like if you go to the Players tab underneath the Logs. Uh, I think you have to have whitelist on. I have whitelist to be true. Um, let me check. No, you don't. You don't need whitelist. But if you go to players, it shows you every single person who has played on the SMP. You click on the gray arrow or blue arrow next to their name. And you can whitelist them, ban them, make them have operator to do commands. You can see their inventory, what enchants they have. How long they've played on a, the a server, how many kills they have, how much blocks they've broken. Like, you can do so much. I didn't even know about this until recently. So you got all of this. 
you can give people stuff. You can make backups of your world, which if you're doing an SMP, I would suggest doing that every single time you stop your server. So if anything bad happens, you have a backup ready to restore. So yeah, that is how you start in Minecraft Bedrock and Java SMP. I'll see you guys all in the next tutorial if you guys want another tutorial from me on Artanos. Stay playable.